What if I told you some of the best upgrades for the Bamboo Lab P2S don't cost a dollar? Just a little bit of filament. Today, I'm showing you several free prints that actually make the P2S better to use every single day. My name is Adam. This is the Rad Dad Print Lab. Let's get into it. The back of the P2S can get a bit messy once you add the AMS. And I found this really cool file from Flaff over on Maker World that gives you a really clean place to loop the AMS cable. Before this, my cable management system was basically nothing. This print does require some magnets, but the nice thing here is that there's a few different size options available. I went with the six by two millimeter magnets and they do a great job holding it in place on the back of the P2S. When installing the magnets, I made sure to alternate the polarity to increase its overall strength. Insulation is super easy. I did use a little bit of super glue just to make sure that the magnet stayed put. And once that's done, you just wrap the cable and you're good to go. Now I did print mine in Polymaker's PLA because that's what was already loaded and basically that's how most of my material decisions are made. I always managed to misplace my bed scraper. So I was pretty excited when I found this file from Bison Prints over on Maker World. It's a scraper that also kind of doubles as a door handle for the P2S. While writing the script, I did realize that there's actually a version two of this design. So I'll have that link down below as well. One really cool feature is that you can choose the infill pattern to add a design to the blade itself. The back of the scraper is designed to remove the purge blades, but honestly, the front edge works just fine too. If anyone knows of a similar version that uses metal blades, please let me know down in the comments below because I do prefer those over the plastic ones, but I really like this file, so I wanted to share it with you. Now, just like we're upgrading the Bamboo Lab P2S today, you can upgrade your own projects with the help of PCBWay. PCBWay offers a ton of services beyond standard 3D printing, including CNC machining, injection molding, PCB fabrication, and even full metal 3D printing. Yes, that's real metal, not metal looking filament. I've actually worked with PCBWay on a 3D printed metal project before, and seeing a design go from a plastic prototype to an actual metal part is honestly pretty wild. It's one of those moments where your project suddenly feels way more serious than it probably needs to be. So whether you're prototyping, making functional parts, or you just wanna take the project way further than your desktop printer can handle, PCBWay is a great option, and big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. Quick side note, if you want some extra behind the scenes content, early peeks at projects, and some stuff I probably shouldn't be printing at midnight, I do have a Patreon. It's linked down below if you wanna check it out. No pressure, just appreciated. The next file is designed to replace that built-in carbon filter on the P2S. It's a simple design with a sliding lid that lets you fill it with activated carbon. Now do be careful here because if you're like me, you're gonna get this stuff everywhere if you're not careful, like I did. The activated carbon should help reduce plastic smells if you're printing with the front door closed. I printed mine in Prusament's ASA since this area can see some higher temperatures. I will say filling it was a bit messier than expected, definitely don't overfill it like I did unless you enjoy vacuuming your workspace and cleaning it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Once it's ready though, swapping it with the stock filter is super easy. Now, honestly, I would save this file for later and wait for your built-in filter to be done and needing replacement, just so we don't have any extra waste. The next one is a really interesting idea and I do need to do some proper testing on it, in the past, I have had to turn off the auxiliary fan for larger PLA prints. Now, thanks to this free file from Rowland over on Maker World, it redirects the airflow upward at about 45 degrees from the auxiliary fan, away from the build plate. Now, it's highly rated and it doesn't use much filament and it prints pretty quickly. I printed mine in Prusament's ASA just to make sure it wouldn't warp when printing with hotter materials. Installation of this is really easy. It just snaps into place. Make sure you point it up. And there we go, it's nice and installed. I live in the desert, so dust is definitely a thing. This free file from Ideal Lab helps protect the belt tension area from dust while still allowing airflow thanks to the vent holes. Basically, it's a dust cover that still lets the printer breathe, which is very considerate. Installing the dust covers is really easy. All you gotta do is make sure the vents go inward and you find where they line up, push in, and there we go. It's installed super easily. I printed these in Polymaker's PLA. 
If you have any other dust related upgrades that I should check out, let me know down in the comments below. I would actually really appreciate it. Lastly, this free file from Nick Malik over on printables is a purge or poop shoot catcher. Yes, that's kind of the official term. What I really like about this one is how securely it stays in place thanks to the six eight by two millimeter magnets here on the back. And it's a good size, just big enough to be useful and not small enough to be useless. You know, I've tried a lot of different purge containers and this one has quickly become my favorite. Installation of this is super easy. You literally just slide it into place and you're done. Don't you wish other things were that easy? If you want to see another video, if you want to see another upgrade video that I thought was really super cool, but it was kind of over the top in some parts, you should check out this video right here. My name's Adam and I'll see you next time.